Christmas should be magical, but 44% of children in the United States live in low-income families where the holidays are a struggle. We have found some holiday assistance programs that can help, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. I'm Nicole from LowIncomeRelief.com, where we help millions of Americans save money and get free stuff. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the holiday assistance programs that we found for low-income families. We've been investigating the entire country, county by county, to find as many Christmas resource programs as we could possibly find. And guys, we have found hundreds of these programs nationwide. Many of them are very local and only serve specific communities or counties. And because there are so many, that means their criteria varies widely. Some of them have different income qualifications, age guidelines, geographic restrictions, and start dates. Some of these programs start signing children up as early as September. So it's really important to know what's available in your area so that you can apply as soon as possible. Now, obviously, it's not very practical for us to discuss hundreds of hyperlocal programs in one YouTube video. That would be kind of a mess. So in this video, we're only going to focus on the two nationwide programs that we found in almost every community we've written about. However, you can always find our entire list of holiday assistance programs at lowincomerelief.com slash Christmas. The first program we're going to talk about is Toys for Tots. The Marine Toys for Tots program collects new unwrapped toys and distributes them to children all around the country. The goal of this program is to bring the joy of Christmas and a message of hope to those who may not otherwise receive it. Applications for assistance are processed by local chapters. The distribution dates and criteria may vary depending on which chapter you're applying with. However, the toys are usually distributed shortly before Christmas each year in all of the chapters. In order to apply, you will need to visit their website, accept their agreement, and submit some personal information. You will be asked for the full name, age, and gender of each child you're applying for. For your convenience, we've added all of the local chapters in our holiday assistance lists so that you can quickly and easily find those. The Salvation Army's Angel Tree Program is another great resource for low-income families during the holidays. This program provides new, clothing, and toys to children all across the country. In order to participate, you will need to tell the program your child's age, gender, and interests. This information is used to create a tag for your child that will hang on a local angel tree. These trees are usually found in Walmart, sometimes in restaurants, but they have these tags with the information about your child so that shoppers can make purchases for your specific child. So, um, people who donate to the angel tree will pick up that tag, go shopping, and return the unwrapped gifts and that tag to the program so that the program can process those gifts and distribute them to your children. When we've shopped for this program in the past, the tag has included basic information like the child's age, gender, and interests. So the tag might say something like, the child would really like a basketball and a new pair of pajamas, or a doll and a new jacket. Um, at least that's how the program works in my area. Because the Salvation Army operates out of different branches all across the country, the specific details of the program may vary in your area. Of course, we've also found hundreds of churches, community action councils, and other organizations that offer Christmas assistance to low-income families all around the country. But because these programs only serve small areas, it doesn't make a lot of sense to go over all of them in a video like this. However, we've organized the website so that you can quickly and easily find this information. If you visit lowincomerelief.com forward slash Christmas, you'll be able to select your state from the list and then your county, and then you'll be able to see a list of all of those resources that are available for your family. We keep adding to this list every single week, so be sure to check back often for updates and be sure to let us know if your area hasn't been researched yet so that we can get that on our research list and get that information found for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this information has been helpful to you. If you could share it with other families so that everyone can get the help they need this holiday season, 
I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.